The College Street Cafe in Clinton, featuring Wednesday and Friday open mic nights, presents local artists. Artist Deborah Burrington's watercolors are a reflection of her surroundings. Originally from Vermont, Deborah now lives on the banks of the Moose River in Old Forge. Vermont's rolling hills have been replaced by intimate scenes of life along the lakes and rivers of the Adirondacks. My mother introduced me to watercolors when I was about 18 and um, I always liked it and just did it for fun, something to do to kill time. And as I got older, I took more and more lessons. So as I progressively got a little better, it became more fun. Um, I took a good break while raising kids and still did it as a hobby. But as soon as the kids were older, uh, I decided to get further my education, uh, which I did in Vermont. And, um, and now I, I just love painting. I really love the white. I love the transparency of watercolor. And I like the playfulness of it. Uh, my pictures tend to be realistic with a touch of impressionism, and I'm, my goal is to be more impressionistic but, and also more transparent. And so I keep studying, keep practicing. Um, I don't have a very favorite. I like, I like architecture because I love the light and the shapes of the buildings. Um, I love the river right here um, in the Adirondacks. Uh, for landscape and I used to do a lot of um, farm scenes in Vermont but I think I've grown very fond of the river and the Adirondacks. Having the peacefulness of the river here and just the scenery uh, I do a lot with the computer as far as uh, using the computer because when the light comes through the picture on the screen it's a lot like real life you get a little bit more um, depth in your picture so it's more fun to paint that way and, and it is a long winter so you need you need to use other means besides plein air. It's a little hard to do plein air when it's 20 degrees or below zero. <laughs> you can see one of Deborah's paintings at the 57th Annual Central Adirondack Art Show at the Old Forge Art Center. Her work is also on display at the Adirondack Cafe on Main Street in Old Forge.